from this video you will learn what is liver arm how do you derive the liver arm and what is the importance of the liver arm hello friend i am somedeep back to with new tutorial video regarding rcc in my last video i discussed about percentage of steel that is the p okay so in case you miss this video definitely in the corner you will find the i button go and check out otherwise you go to the playlist section and you will find this last video so without further delay let's get started the video so first we talk about what is the liver arm okay basically this liver arm is a perpendicular distance is perpendicular distance now question is that perpendicular of which so perpendicular the line of the action of force so this is your 90 degree so now it is clear what why we talk about the perpendicular distance okay so in rcc this is your compression force this is tension force okay and this whole system is known as your couple so if you want to write the definition of the lever arm then you can say lever arm is perpendicular distance perpendicular distance between the line of action line of action of what of the couple that combination of compression and tensile force okay this is the definition of the lever arm so so in case this lever arm still not clear to you so do comment in comment section i will try my best for understanding this okay now we talk about how do we derive this lever arm so before starting the derivation first i have to draw these beautiful pictures so yeah this is your stress diagram from here compression is acting from here tension is acting okay so what the definition says the lever arm is the perpendicular distance between the line of action that is the combination of the compressive and tensile force so that means this is your compression force this is your tensile force that means my distance should be wait my distance should be like this this is my distance if i i will find this distance then the problem is solved see this full value is your d suppose i mark the line a b c ac equal to d d means your effective depth right ab ab is your suppose uh 
if this is O point and AO equal to your N equal to neutral depth then AB should be N by 3. Why N by 3? If I consider the AOX triangle A O X triangle then CG should be lying from this. So this is your one third, this is your two third, right? So in this scenario, AB should be n by 3. We have to find out what we have to find out BC. So BC someone equal to I can say. AC minus AB. AC is your D and AB is your N by 3. So yeah, this is your the lever arm as per conceptually. But few people are there. Those are like to make things are complicated. For those, what is the value of N? In my last video, I discuss about the neutral axis. So here neutral axis n equal to kd, right? n equal to kd. So n equal to 280d as your n equal to kd. So it is 280d by 280 plus 3 sigma, like that. Yeah, 280 is 3 sigma. Sigma s. 3 sigma s. So in that scenario, lever arm L equal to, if I assume lever arm equal to L, the lever arm equal to D minus 280 D by 280 plus 3 sigma s. And interestingly, if I am simplifying this, so 280 D minus 280 D plus 3d sigma s by 280 plus 3 sigma s 280d cancel out and remaining is your 3 sigma s by 280 plus 3 sigma s d this is your video so yeah this is your the lever arm okay So now we talk about the importance of liver arm. Okay. Importance of liver arm. If liver arm distance L is increasing, then the material is more ductile. That means L means D minus N by 3. So if this is increasing, then ductility. So N is some function of D. So L equal to function of D. So basically, basically, effective depth is increasing. Or you can say overall depth increasing then ductility increase point number two if liver arm decreasing or you can say small d decreasing or capital d decreasing capital d means overall depth capital d then material should be brittle should be brittle Third, if liver arm is increasing, then you should need less quantity of steel. And liver arm decreasing, 
then you should you should higher or more quantity of steel okay so these are the four importance of understanding the lever arm so yeah this is the video if i summarize this video then i talk about lever arm what do you mean by lever arm how do you derive the value of lever arm and what is the importance of lever arm so these are some key takeaways from this video so yeah if you learn something new from my video then definitely like the video and share with your groups so many related group and yeah subscribe my channel for getting such kind of beautiful content regarding civil engineering so yeah that's it for today so yeah thank you for watching this video next time we'll meet with you the moment moment resistance moment resistance okay till then bye bye Take care and stay safe.